Hey guys, Inazni here, and I just wanted to thank you all because we just hit our first milestone. Yay! It's really exciting for me, and um, that's big news because I kind of expected I would hit my first milestone in like three months. This is my workshop that I'm sitting in uh, right now. It's really, really messy. Let me just show you more. You can see, uh, I'm actually, this is Melka right here I'm working on. This is her shoe. Uh, all the different layers that I've attached with DAP, which is basically barge, and yeah. Mm -hmm. But again, thank you guys for helping me reach my first milestone. I do have a lot more video content to share with you guys. I'm actually gonna go edit it right now, uh, once I edit this one too. I do a lot of periscoping now these days, and uh, I record all those, so once they're gone on periscope you can't see them, but I do want to start uploading them here onto my video blog, or at least like the highlights of Periscope, because sometimes it's just me sitting there making things, talking to myself. <laughs> Let me know if that's something you guys want and I will definitely start doing it. Enjoy these clips and I will be back in a second. Did you like them? There's a lot more where those came from, so uh, if you liked them, let me know which one was your favorite. Since we hit our first milestone, I wanted to show you what I've spent some of that money on. Um, this is gonna be my fabric for that Amusement Mile Harley Quinn that I was talking about. I wanted it to have, a, wanted her to have a very sparkly showgirl, like, look at this clown kind of outfit, because that's what Arlene Sorkins looked like. But I didn't want it to be so sequiny and so shiny that it was hard to take pictures. Um, Kind of like my Hollywood Harley, where it's got all the glitter and rhinestones. Sometimes the flash angles and it just blinds the person. So this is what I ended up getting in uh, LA this weekend. It's a sequin spandex, which is perfect, and the sequins are actually matte. So they give you that shine, and uh, they fold. It look really nicely when they fold and bend, but it's spandex on the inside. So it'll stretch nicely. And since I've been so lacking on videos this month so far, I wanted to show off some of my uh, props from Elka. Some of which I will be remaking, um, others of which I just love and want to show you. This baby, uh, beer money props made for me. It's Melka's gun. Um, it's completely foam. I think it's six, seven ounces, so it's very, very light. Uh, just some close-ups on here. Beer Money Props, as I said, made this for me. Uh, I painted it. <laughs> That's why it's kind of sloppy in areas because I painted it in like half an afternoon, I think. This part here actually makes me mad because um, it's not supposed to be there, obviously. I need to repaint it. But when we were going to pack, get a uh, paint everything, pack it, and then we unpacked it and painted it again. But I put this on top of this part of the glaive and this came off. <laughs> I think, yeah, this actually is the side I had to repaint because all this paint in this spot here had come off. And this is my Mark I glaive. Uh, let's see if I can zoom out on it. You can see that those are huge and they're kind of floppy. I want to remake them to where they're floppy or like leaves because that's what they are in the game. And here are my cool claws. I have a, a prosthetic goes on my hand right there um, since this is a glaive that kind of, it's a bio glaive that melded with Melka. This goes on top of the glaive. Uh, the lighter green part here comes out. Uh, I've only got one hand available. Hang on, hang on. I have knees! Oh, hang on. Ah, there we go. It comes out, it's got magnets um, on the inside, so we can just, for packing purposes, basically. Here is a closer look of the glaive when I'm not wearing it. This piece was actually sandwiched on here glued on here. I peeled it off because I wanted to remake it, but I wanted to keep the base glove mostly the same. I'll also be peeling up all of this stuff to remake it. Um, yeah. Those are some of my goodies. Uh, that's the fabric I'll be using. I also got a big bag of tool. 
because I'm going to be making a, like a big clowny toolish rough for Harley. Since Melka is mostly a remake job, I'm kind of going to dedicate most of the funds for Patreon this month for my Harley costume. Um, I figured it's a little bit more fair to you guys, that way you are getting a brand new fresh costume. Um, with any luck, we'll be filming Moxie's Happy Hour this weekend for St. Patrick's Day, but we need to go over script and cost of materials and things first, um, so cross your fingers. If not, we'll have another one next month, and, uh, yeah, season two will start soon. <laughs> That's it for me for now. Uh, thank you guys again for being patrons of mine. It means the world to me. Honestly, I, I can't, I know I keep saying it, but thank you. This is a really, really exciting new adventure, and... If you can't tell, I'm overjoyed, and I'm really excited to get back to work on these costumes, which I probably should do if I'm going to get them done. I'll see you guys next time.